General, here's our crew chiefs for today. Oh, Huey. Yeah. How are you doing, sir? Hi, Rodney. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you, sir? Yeah. Good oh, thank you, thank you. Take a look at those. Take that for you, sir. Yeah. yeah. Just about right, didn't it? Looked like about the right size. Yep, there you go. you what your angle of attack is. <laughs> if you don't know, you shouldn't be flying.
Was there any reason why you chose Nellis for your uh, Yeah, Santa? airplane. The F-15. They, they didn't have them over there. Yeah, but basically, they don't have any F-15s at Edwards. All they got 16 Raptor, Raptors and different ones of those. And, and the F-15 is my favorite airplane, and uh, I was glad. Is this going to be your one. last flight? Or? Huh? Is this going to be your last flight? Or are you going to no, keep it's not my last flight. <laughs> And the guy, that's what they do here at Nellis. They teach you guys how to be fighter pilots. What, what was the most accomplished feat that you did? Was it the sound barrier? Yeah, was, probably the X-1. The X-1. What about the, all those uh, aces, that ace you got? Well, no, it, that's, the, the X-1 was, a, you asked, the most, the most important thing that I did was fly the X-1 through Mach 1. That opened up... Uh, See, up until that time, we'd never been able to get above the speed of sound. With problems with controls and stuff like that. And finally, uh, on October the 14th, 47, we succeeded in pushing, pushing through uh, Mach 1 and opened up space to us. I'll ask you one more. Okay. The like. What role has the Air Force had in shaping your life? Well, basically, it's pretty simple. What I am, I owe to the Air Force because it took an 18-year-old kid out of West Virginia, taught me, and, and made me what I was. Now, when I retired after 35 years, uh, I had Lockheed and, and Northrop and aircraft companies wanting me to go to work for them. And uh, at the same time, Edwards asked me, said, would you serve as a consultant test pilot for a dollar a year. And I, I think my question was, do I have to buy the fuel? <laughs> he said, no. And so when they asked me to do that, I said, yes. Because what I am, I owe to the Air Force, and I stayed with it. I still fly that. Where do you fly, Jim? And that was really made a lot, because Nellis is really the core, the heart, the core of our fighter pilots. This is where they're trained. Thank you very much. That's all we have time Thank for. You.